What's up everyone? This is Nana here and welcome back to my channel. So today I have something a little bit new which is my braces. Yes, I know it's not very easily visible but it's here. It's made of ceramic and it will be with me for quite a long time. So get used to it. Anyway, coming to today's video, we are talking about hidden plastics or everyday items that you did not know contain plastic in them. So we already have two videos covering these items which is part 1 and part 2. Make sure that you go check them out because they also contain a lot of items that has already been discussed. And this video will be a part 3 which is a continuation of these things that we had no clue had plastic in them. So now let's get started. So the first and foremost item is band-aids. Yes, those band-aids that we put over our wounds or cuts or those are sadly made of plastic. It's usually woven fabric with plastic lining and adhesive but these days it's mostly completely made of plastic because of the ones which especially claim to be waterproof and the thing is after we use it uh, we just take it off and we just throw it away into our dry waste. It is not dry waste, it needs to be segregated with medical waste which not does not happen all the time and also even then it just ends up at the landfill because it does not get recycled at all so it is a sad reality that most of the band-aids we have is made of plastic there are compostable options outside india right now but it hasn't come to india yet i'm waiting for them to come to india or at least indian brands to come up with similar band-aids but until then this is the only option that we have which is kind of sad so the next item is makeup and I'm not talking about the plastic packaging that the makeup comes in but the makeup itself that you apply on your face and body. They sometimes contain an ingredient known as nylon 12 which is used to give you know silky uh, soft texture to your makeup and these are usually polyamide additives which act as bulking or opacifying agents. Again do we really need plastic on our faces all the time in the form of makeup do we i don't think so i'm not asking you to just throw away all the makeup uh, products you already have which may have this ingredient in it because we are against wasting resources which we already have but the next time you go to buy a makeup product just make sure that you go through the ingredients list to make sure that this particular ingredient is not present because again plastic in makeup do we really need it we don't so say no to that the next time you buy makeup so the next item that is very very common in almost all households is tapes tapes or cello tapes as we popularly call it they used to be made of cellophane which is made of cellulose which is a natural uh, ingredient but these days it's mostly made of plastic itself which is basically a thin layer of polypropylene to be exact. In both the cases they are both not recyclable and hence often fall up in the end up at the landfill because we just pull it out and we just throw it into our dustbins. We do not think any more about it do we? So that can be a little bit problematic. The next item is cardboard food packaging. All those food packaging that your cereals come in, your muesli and all those come in, don't be fooled to think that they are actually made of cardboard because they always contain a uh, plastic lining in them. Because this plastic is usually used for making those packages waterproof and moisture proof. So if you try tearing a piece of that cardboard and putting it into water, you will see that it doesn't get soaked up fully like normal paper would. And that shows that there is a lining of plastic in it. And usually it is not easily recyclable. Not all recycling facilities will be able to recycle it because you need to take apart the plastic from the paper before either of it can be recycled and in most cases the plastic lining does not get recycled because it's too thin to get recycled into anything and hence basically it is just something that 
is used to make a fool of us to think that it's you know kind of sustainable but it's not the next item is contact lenses i know contact lenses are quite convenient for people who have eyesight trouble but these are usually known as ocean waste because these contain uh, plastic polymers usually water loving plastics called as hydrogels and most people who use disposable ones especially they just throw it down the toilet which leads to water pollution and although these contact lenses are actually recyclable they don't get recycled even if we throw it into the recycle bin because of its minuscule size if you are a contact lens wearer i would ask you to enquire with the manufacturer of your contact lenses to see if they have any sort of specific recycling facility for the contact lenses and if they do try and do so accordingly so the next product is one that i absolutely hate and it comes in the skincare sector these are sheet masks <sighs> these are usually made of a thin layer of cotton fiber or cellulose which is infused with highly concentrated hydrating ingredients and they always always contain a thin layer of plastic as well and always come in plastic packaging which is hardly ever recyclable and the thing is these sheet masks are never reusable or recyclable so once we take it off we throw it away it goes bare to the landfill for the sake of skin care we are creating so much of waste every time we use a sheet mask it's just a lot of waste and that too when we have so much of sustainable skin care products in the market these days which are equally good for our skin so why create so much of waste when we have such amazing alternatives so when it comes to sheet mask even if you feel like it's something you can use to pamper yourself please please say no to it because it's honestly unnecessary how often do you check what your clothing is actually made of do you actually look at the labels to see what it's made of and if the label contains the product names as polyester nylon acrylic fleece or microfiber not only does your cloth actually contain plastic in them but they also release a ton of microplastics every time you wash them so the choice is always better to go for natural fibers like cotton linen hemp bamboo etc because these are usually much more easier on our environment so next is beer by now we all know how much microplastics have taken over our food system in the previous video i talked about the presence of microplastics in salt and it is similar when it comes to beer and in the list of uh, food products that are highly contaminated by microplastics beer is one of the high ones and hence the next time you are having beer know that you are probably consuming a lot of microplastics that's going to go and be inside your body so yeah this has just become normalized which is kind of scary right now but yeah that's the case now so the next product is stickers and i mean all kinds of stickers be the stickers that you use on your journal the stickers that you find on your food or even stickers that you paste on your walls these all contain a plastic lining which makes them completely non recyclable and a lot of times the adhesives that are used on these stickers also have plastic elements in them so if you try to tear a sticker you will see that it's not very easy to just tear like it would be for normal paper and that is basically the plastic lining at play so if you ask me do we really need those stickers i would say we can do without them I know it's personal choice and a lot of people love using the stickers but how long do you use them you ultimately just throw away the books journals or anything that has those stickers and just because of those stickers even the papers in those books become non recyclable that's a lot of waste that you will be creating otherwise the 
book could probably have been completely recycled and made into new books but because of those stickers in them it becomes completely thrown away into the landfill so just think about it it's just something you need to put a thought to and i would say it is something we can probably live without so those were all the products which contain hidden plastic in them so which was the one product that surprised you the most for me it was the makeup because i had no clue that makeup actually contained plastic element in them and i was kind of mind blown by that and let me know what was the one thing that surprised you the most and comment below to let me know so we can discuss about it and also make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so already because we have videos coming out every single week with information on sustainability and veganism so if you are curious about either of it make sure that you subscribe to the channel and i will see you again in the next video so until then bye bye